This is PSPICE simulation series. In this video, we will create a DC sweep simulation profile and then configure the DC source for sweep analysis. Then in the next section of this video, we will run the sweep analysis and view the simulation results. So let's get started. First step of this tutorial, we'll open the project file, which you can download from the link given in the description. Then we'll open Cadence ORCAD Capture, select the ORCAD PSPICE Designer Professional License and click over OK button. Once the ORCAD capture is ready, you can go to File, Open, Project. Just locate the file where you have downloaded it. Select the rc.opj file and click over Open button. And as you can see, just go to Schematic, double click over RC circuit. And I'm going to zoom fit this circuit here. In the next step, we are going to create and set up new simulation profile. To do that, We'll click over New Simulation Profile button. We are going to name it DC Sweep and click over Create button. Then Simulation Setting for DC Sweep window will open. Now here we have to configure it for DC Sweep Analysis. So we'll change the analysis type to DC Sweep. Then in the option, make sure you have selected the Primary Sweep. Now we are going to run the Sweep Analysis for Voltage Source. Name that voltage source V1. As you can see in our case, it is V1. So let's enter V1 here. Make sure the type is linear. Now in the next step, we are going to fill this start, end and increment values. So a start will be 0 volt. End, we want to go for maximum 10 volt and increment of 1 volt. Now in the next step, we are going to set up data collection and probe. So let's click on data collection tab. So in the data collection tab, Make sure you have selected the voltage data collection for all voltages and similarly for current and power. So we are going to collect data for all type of voltages, current and power. And make sure you have selected the probe data for 64 bit. Now we are going to configure the probe window. In the probe window tab, make sure you have selected display probe window after simulation has been completed and all the markers on the schematic, all right? Then we'll click over apply and okay. Next, we are going to run the analysis. To do that, we'll click over start simulation button. Once the simulation is done, as you can see, there is no plot as of now. So we are going to add multiple traces here. So let's add traces for voltage at input and voltage as output. To do that, we'll click over add trace button. From here, we'll select V input and V output and click over OK. So as you can see, the green one is V input and the red trace is V out. So as we are increasing the voltage, we can see the voltage at input and output trace. Next, let's talk about few settings in the plot window, like changing the axis and grids. So first, let's talk about axis setting. To do that, we'll go to plot, click over axis setting. So here we can see a couple of options. First is data range. So if we'll go to user defined data, let's say I wanted to see the plot for 5 volt to 10 volt on X axis. So I just click over 5 volt here. All right. And if we'll click on OK, so you can see now we can see the plot from 5 to 10 volt. Similarly, you can make other setting changes. For example, I wanted to see the logarithmic scale instead of linear. So I'll click over log and OK. So now we got the logarithmic scale for our simulation results. Similarly, you can do other changes and play along with Y axis as well. So that's it for this video. In the next step, we are going to save this project file. To do that, go to file and click over save button. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.